Hello there mate and welcome to this tutorial. Well today I'm going to speak about how you get effects to actually work in Vegas. And this is actually from Movie Studio which is a cheaper version of Vegas. But it has uh, many of the same effects and as you can see here I have an effect on this video clip. Um, the screen goes brighter and darker and that is a light effect I use. But how do I get it to move? Because you might be doing something like this and you don't get it to move at all. As you can see it goes stronger and weaker. What we're going to do is we're going to get the video over here and put it over here. And this thing is blank right now. And the game's powered over there, he is walking. And this is a video you can watch on my channel by the way. And I'm going to go into video event effects. Then we're going to go to glow and add. And what you can do here is that you can add some glowing to this video. But the thing you might notice is that you can't get it to move. It's just, you, you want to glow, right? This isn't glowing, just a bit brighter. I want to choose a color over here. This is a bit buggy. Uh, so there we go. Something like this, I think, would be good. Uh, let's get a good effect over here. This is good, I think. We want the windows to glow, we can do it like, let's see here. This is the thing I did at the beginning, I want the windows to glow, but I think this is pretty good. Now, how the arts do you get this to move? Because it doesn't move right now. You click on these clocks over here. Here comes the magic. Play, press on this clock at suppression, for example. Now we can animate it. So you see this meter is at the bottom right now. Well, if I go over here, uh, let's get this move. And press the plus, and then press over here. Uh, I can increase the suppression over here, or increase or decrease it. I'm decreasing it right now, and it goes brighter. And what's going to happen then is that this first image is going to turn to the second one. So it's going to go. Wait, I have to go to the beginning, of course. See, it's very weak right now. It isn't very very weak, but it's some somewhat weak. And you see, it goes brighter right now. Uh, this is a bit the way I can put this a little bit closer so you can see the difference a bit faster. See now it goes brighter very fast. And we can also get it to decrease. Uh, we go over here, we put in a plus, and then we remove all the suppression. Or increase it to max, I mean. So first it's going to go brighter, and then if this works, it's going to go dark again. Yeah, like that. That's pretty cool. I think you also can mess around with the colors. So we can make this color change over here. Press over there. Press the color. And change it to green or whatever. You can put green. Very bright green. And you see, see over here that the color actually changes. So this is something you can do with every... Um, I have to put it on the beginning. This is something you can do with every effect, just about every effect. You just add a, you just press the clocks and animate it, and change the uh, the meters around. And that's basically how you do it. And there's a lot of other effects which you can do this as well with. You just have to play around with the clocks. You know, I can add the glow percent here as well, and make the glow percent change over here. I just pull it up or down, and it's going to change up wherever it is. I don't know exactly what that is on the video. Uh, at second 13. Well, that's a little bit hard to guess right now, but yeah. So we can change that around as well. You see, look at this. We can get the glow percentage, percentage to change as well. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. you just pick and choose an effect, click on the clocks, and uh, just, you know, you can add a dot by pressing the plus, and then you can play around with the meters. Like this, and then add another plus, and play around again, and you get the nice effect. Have a really great day, and subscribe!